you've probably heard this, this issue about some of the nation's bridges. Bridges that you drive across every day probably look just fine, and they are literally falling apart. I don't want to alarm you about this, but this is a simple fact, and it needs to be told. Bridges all over this country are cracking and crumbling, and they're full of lead paint and dropping chunks of concrete below. 60,000 of them, 60,000, you heard right. Bridges in America need fixing, but there is less money and less time, it seems, uh, to find that money. A and we're all sort of curious as to why, especially CNN's Renee Marsh, who took a closer look. 68,000 vehicles cross the Arlington Memorial Bridge between D.C. and Virginia every day. This is what drivers don't see. It's just eroding and the concrete is falling off. We have to wear masks and gloves inside of the bridge because this paint is all lead paint. Now this beam is helping to support the bridge and if you take a look, it is badly corroded. And you see how thin that steel is. You see holes in the steel. The original support beams from 1932 have never been replaced. We're like a third world country when it comes to infrastructure. Federal government spending on infrastructure has declined 9% from 2003 to 2014. Every state has some degree of bad bridges that need to be repaired. From Los Angeles, where trees are growing out of cracks in this bridge, to Chicago, where netting is in place to protect drivers from falling concrete. The reason we have 57,000 deficient bridges is because we have not made the investment as a national government. Former Transportation Secretary Ray LaHood blames Congress for failing to raise the gas tax in 23 years, which funds projects like bridges and roads. Have you been against raising the tax because it's just bad politics? Well, first of all, the economy been, hasn't been great. Raising the gas tax doesn't solve the long-term funding problem. As Congress tries to figure out this long-term solution, bridges are crumbling. So what do we do right now? Well, uh, our bill, the FAST Act, which we pay but passed in December, the president signed into law, we put more dollars into focusing on the critical infrastructure. His Republican colleague disagrees. It's funded for five years, but we use 10 years worth of gimmicks to pay for it. These are the kind of things that don't make sense. Anthony Fox is the current head of the Department of Transportation. But isn't everyone guilty? I mean, when Democrats were in control of Congress, this situation was what it is today as well. I think every year we go by, the challenge gets that much greater. And that's why we don't have another moment to waste. Researchers at the University of Michigan believe they may have a solution, a bendable concrete that can heal itself from cracks. How about if we set our targets towards creating infrastructures that will last 100 years. Regular concrete can fail quickly and suddenly. But Professor Victor Lee says the bendable concrete can withstand a force hundreds of times more powerful. The sped up video shows how it responds to pressure. Cracks heal themselves with the help of air and water. The technology lines portions of this bridge in Michigan. The hope is it could help already crumbling bridges like the Memorial Bridge near the nation's capital. And they look so nice on the top, but not so much where Renee Marsh spent a fair bit of time underneath looking at the real guts of it all. The money that it would take to fix these problems, where would it come from? Well, that bridge, Memorial Bridge, $250 million is needed to make all of the repairs. Uh, they've applied for a grant, but they likely will not get all $250 million. If they don't find the money, that bridge is shutting down in the next five wow. years. So this is a race against time to identify where to get that money I, from. This is what drives me crazy. I can't imagine how you could politicize this danger, you know, this sort of thing. But what do we know about the, the candidates and how they feel about this kind of money? I do, I do want to say, though, you know, although we see those bridges in that condition, there are inspectors that go and look at these bridges, especially the really bad ones, because what they don't want is a deadly collapse. So those inspections happen very frequently. You talked about the candidates. They've been talking. Uh, Hillary Clinton just yesterday, she unveiled her plan. She says in her first 100 days in office, she is prepared uh, to release an infrastructure plan, how to correct some of the problems that we found um, in her first 100 days. Donald Trump, though, when you go on his website, don't see much policy detail. Yet. 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 But there's your story out there on the, uh, the national news. So, Renee Marsh, as always, thank you so much. And don't forget, Renee Marsh has a big piece coming up on Aaron Burnett uh, tonight, 7 o'clock Eastern on CNN. So we'll look forward to that as well, furthering this investigation. Thank you, Renee.